In today's Madden 20 tip, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you how you can throw red zone fades to really, or back shoulder fades to really take advantage of the defense in the red zone. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. And what I want to do today is I want to talk to you about a specific route that I think is going to help you get better in Madden 20. It's going to help you score more touchdowns. It's also going to be kind of fun, and it's going to help you develop a really, really good offense for down in the red zone. All right, so I'm just going to go to random defenses here. But the, the you're, what you're going to get in the red zone is you're going to get a lot of press coverage. If you're like me, you get a lot of press coverage in the red zone. Everything's really tight in the red zone. And I want to give you this this very simple route. So the play is stick. And um, let me let me talk about the play real quick before I come out of the play. Um, the play is stick from Arizona Playbook. And again, if you have if this is just your first time checking out my channel, I do a lot of videos that are designed to help people get better at Madden 20 and ultimately Madden 21 when it comes out. So be sure to, if you get value from this video, join our Discord server. That's where you're going to be able to get the most access to the most amount of content that I release. You're going to get the early access. But what's really cool about Discord is you're going to be actually able to talk to not just me, but everyone from our channel about kind of how you can get better at Madden, what are you seeing, challenges, different things like that. All right, spread Y flex. The play is Y stick. You see this fade route? It's different than most routes. You see four verticals fade route, and you see sticks fade route. It's a very, very subtle difference, but it's a massive, massive difference in this year's game. That stick route right there is one of the best routes in the game, especially for man-to-man -man coverage, especially in head-to-head. -head. So we're going to call the play Y stick. If you have a streak specialist, let's say you're playing mutt and you have a streak specialist, you want to have a you want to have that player running this route. But this is the play Y stick in the red zone. And again, this is one of my favorite plays. So all you're going to do is when the when the um wide at the snap of the ball, you're just going to throw a back shoulder so to the right into the pylon pass lead right there. Now as you can see there against zone, we get picked off. So that's not a great start, but they, they bail. They're in bail technique. Now, if they're in cover two man, though, you see they press up. A lot of people are going to run man-to-man -man on you in the red zone. So here, man-to-man. -man. I'm getting a weird animation on that side for some reason. But if they press up, what's going to happen is most of the time, most of the time, th that route is going to get a release right there, just like that. Just like that. That's the that's the route. So let me show you what happens here. Because the route is kind of a wrap, what I call a wrap a, a wrap around route, what that means is if you take a look at it over here, so we're just gonna watch this animation. And to me, this is just so 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 huge. So if you watch this animation right here, snap of the ball, 24, the corner on that side is gonna go to press him. And because Deshaun Jackson, he's it's a special route, he's gonna do a little out and up and he's going to see 24 he's trying to press that out and he's going to miss it completely you're going to be able to then to have a step and you're going to be able to hit him in the back of the end zone this is very 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 consistent against man to man so this play you think is money against man to man here again and sometimes he'll get that right there but you see even if he presses him like that and one of the things you can do with this route i believe you can smart route the route and by smart routing the route, what that's going to do is it's going to change the the um, it's going to change kind of the angles of the route. So if he does get press, we're actually getting quite a bit of press animations because, and I think it's because if they press from stock, which they're going to do, I promise you. If you're playing hit competitive Madden, they're going to press you from stock. That's where he's going to whiff it. So if they manually press, what that means is they're going to go on their defense and they're going to set up press coverage. So, for example, if I call the play silver, silver shoot press two and run it right here, what's going to happen is you're going to see same animation that we want right there, that back shoulder fade animation. Now, if they, if they call cover to man... Or here's, here's cover one. So if they call cover one and they don't press, right, they're just relying on the defense to do their thing, you see he gets that stock press. So we can deal with that in a second, but what I want to show you is that's, a, that's only if they don't adjust the defense. If they adjust the defense in any way, shape, or form, if they press coverage, if they base align it, if they do anything, 
then you're going to be good. So for example, here I'm going to go to curve two man and I'm just going to base align the defense. That's all I'm going to do. And then I'm going to press coverage because everybody's going to base align and press on the red zone, right? That's what, that's all they're doing. Base align and press out of cover two man. You see, it's going to miss a line. He's going to completely whiff on him. Ah, he's going to completely whiff on him. And what's going to happen is once, once that happens, you're going to have a window and it's, it's a quick window, but you're going to have a window. If he does press, just wait for him to get off, wait for him to get off of it a little bit. I'm having a little bit of an issue here with it. Of course, once I get on national live internet, but most of the time they're not even going to run cover two man. It's, it's, it's specifically, so like here's cover two man. But if they do this, right, what's going to happen is Jackson is going to beat that press right off the edge, and you're going to be able to pass lead it to the right and to the outside. Most of the time, the defenses you're going to face in the red zone are going to be cover zero. They're going to be something like this because they're going to want to send pressure because they don't need safeties, right? They don't need safeties. They're going to rely on their user. That's where this comes in really handy. If they're in cover zero, you see there, and I'm getting really, really rough animations, and you have to practice this a lot, and, and I'm a little bit out of practice on it, but... If you, once you practice this a lot, you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. But basically, he's going to miss the press on the right, and then you're going to be able to throw it to the back of the end zone. And I'm, I'm riding the struggle bus. Now, if they don't, if, if, if he, let's just say he whiffs, right? Let's just say he whiffs, which, is, which has happened to me. If he whiffs, you can throw the hitch route right there from spread. So it's a read, right? It's, it's, you're not just throwing back shoulder fades, right? You're reading it. So if it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's not now cover two man. Again, same thing. They're going to come out, they're going to press. And if they press me, I'm going to smart route Jackson's route, snap of the ball, pass lead it to the right and up. You got to make sure that you pass lead it up into the outside. If you don't pass lead it up into the outside, you will likely throw several interceptions and again they won't run a lot of they really really i promise you they won't run a lot of cover two man on the outside that's the animation you're going to get and when you get that animation right there that play is 100 100 percent going to work every single time it's can you can you capitalize when you get that animation so again here here's cover zero they're pressing he gets that bump off the outside there so if he gets that bump, then you just check down to your other reads. But if he beats the bump, which is, I, I'm i telling you, in-game, in-game, it works. I mean, you can watch my streams. It works literally, like, all the time uh, in-game. Let me see if I can show you this one more time. But I really believe that something like this is going to work really well in Madden NFL 21 because they're going to keep a lot of the passing that they had. Snap the ball. There's that, there's that beat press, and there you can see it again. So now off of that route, what they're going to do is they may go to something like this. They may go to like Tampa two and may base the line. They may press, they may do all that stuff. Right. And you'll see snap the ball. You see how it roughs up the Tampa two. That's what I love about this play. It's better than corner routes because it's a snap throw. It's a quick releasing play. So if they go to like a Tampa two, they base the line and they press. This is with shaded coverage up. I'm shading coverage up and they're in cloud flats. You're going to see at the snap of the ball, I'm going to be able to throw it to the back right pylon as a dot. That's what I love about this play. Now, again, if they, let's say they go, let's say they go cover three sky. So they come cover three sky and they're doing bail technique on the outside. You'll see here, if I try to throw the corner, it's wide open again. It's wide open again. Same thing. So that's one of the reasons I really like this. Now, again, if they go, let's just say they go to cover three and they're backed off. Now, if they're backed off, I would never run this because, again, we're talking about leverage. But if he's backed off, I can throw. You see, I can still kind of fit it in. So that stick route really works well in combination with a couple different things. Now, if they go cover two man, and again, if they baseline press, which more than likely they will do that, I pretty, pretty, pretty consistently. But see, even if he presses me, um, if he does press me there, then I just want to move to my next read. I don't want to force it. And, and that's part of the, you know, the, the defense gets paid too kind of thing. You know, I mean, if he, if they are able to do that now, what they're probably going to do is they're probably, if they, if they don't press him, which, which I've been in a lot of scenarios where they don't, you see, you're going to get that back shoulder animation. So if they're coming out, let's say they come out and pinch buck. Oh, they man align, they press, which is what I get a lot. 
that route right there is going to get a beat press animation. And there you saw the tight ends wide open. But they're going to they're gonna basically be racking their minds. They're going to be like, why can't I stop that route? Why can't I stop that route? How are you doing that? Because nobody's running this, right? Nobody's running this on the red zone for sure. But it's that pass lead to the right and the outside. You see the deep blues just kind of get out of the way. They don't go where that is. Because the deep blue is designed to take away the corner or like the deep post routes. So maybe they run something like this. Let's see here. Let me just call like a th cover three and let's put them in outside quarters. So if he's in an outside quarters, outside quarter and it's a cloud. So snap the ball, pass lead to the right and you see he's able to play with it. But what that does, that's the adjustment they have to do. What that does is it opens up everything right there. It opens up that route right there to the tight end. It also opens up the backside routes over the middle of the field. So this one little play, again, you're watching. If he does, if he doesn't press him, it's money every single time, every single time. If they do press him, then you just move to your next read. So here I'll just run a couple. And you see there, um, there he was able to get back on him because I threw it just a little bit late. But once he cuts up, once he makes that one cut move, Snap the ball, cuts right there. I th I'm throwing it just a smidge too late. But you're again, you're throwing it. My pass lead, if my joy left joystick was a clock, I'm throwing it at about, about 2 o'clock. There you see, there it is. Um, and you can throw that pretty, pretty, cons I'm telling you, you can throw it really, really consistently. I've been labbing this up for a long time. been labbing this offense for a long time. And I have found this to be one of my best go-to spread concept, red zone type plays. It's pretty much money in the back of the end zone. And if, again, if they cover that route, which they will, they'll adjust, they'll figure it out. The defenses will adjust to it then what's going to be open as a result is you're going to be able to throw stick. You're going to be able to throw all of these routes on the right side of the, or the left side of the field, but they're going to have their hands full stopping that route. I'm telling you I've thrown it enough. I've played enough Madden this year to be able to say with confidence that route, as I throw the, because I've also thrown enough picks, right? Um, if you, if you get it out and again, it's a little tricky, but if you get it out, let me try a high point. You can actually high point it too to the outside because it's going to help kind of protect it a little bit. Whoops. I was trying to, I was trying to do a little too much there. Let me see here. What happens if you lob it? Let's just check this out. National live internet. If you lob it right now, nope, it doesn't go too far. Doesn't go far enough. But again, once he kind of make, once he makes that little cut to the up, you're going to be able to fit that in. Okay. So again, you know, this is a very difficult play to run. You want to make sure that you go into practice mode and practice the play before you do it in a game. But if you're looking for another wrinkle in your offense in the red zone from a spread set, I believe that this route right here is one of the best routes in the game. You don't want to high point it because you're going to get inaccurate throws, right? This year's game is not a game where you want to high point, but you want to really get it out there. You want to really, really, really get it out there. And you'll see a lot of success. It's a very, very quick play. I like to smart route it because it's going to make him react just a little bit better. And I think I'm through. I think I pass all that to the inside. But make sure you work on your pass leads. Make sure you work on your timing. But you'll see. You'll be throwing back shoulder fades for days. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Again, I want to encourage you to go into practice mode and try this play out and practice against several different defenses to see how this works because it is a little bit of a glitchy route. It is a little bit of a tender route, and it can get picked off if you don't throw it at the right time. That's why you also want to make sure that you're using all of the other routes within this play, like the hitch route to the tight end or the backside, um, the backside in routes because both of those are very effective in the red zone as well and if this video was helpful to you or if you want to get more plugged in with our madden community what i want to encourage you to do is to join our discord server it's free to join it and once we get 100 members i'll be releasing a free offensive and defensive